Hey guys, I am back for that very special review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the very rare but very awesome Robo Racer from Power Rangers Turbo. Basically, this is a police car, obviously. And it was used, of course, by the Blue Centurion, who was the police like figure or robot on Power Rangers Turbo. This year, guy, I uh, got on eBay about, mm, about like five six years ago, some somewhere in that range, and, um, and honestly, this thing has actually seen some better days, I mean, I mean, just look at it, there are, there are like, scratches in the paintwork, and it, and it actually looks like the paint's fading a little, now, I actually not saying like it's bad and all, but it probably is, considering the fact that the uh, stickers are, are even starting to peel a little. And a, uh, another default to this, the, uh, the uh, lights for here are not here. And that there really, really gets me angry. It, it, it really does. To this day, it gets me angry. Like, oh, why did I buy this without the lights? But, you know. Yeah. But anyway... This thing is uh, actually still still pretty good for its uh, detail, and it's also uh, fairly uh, good in its articulation. Of course, it can roll around like that, no brainer. This here grill of the car can go up and down, obviously, and this here button here. Usually, if you pressed on this, these here lights would go on, but unfortunately. They don't. Of course, when it came to this figure being in the TV series, this figure was just not enough. And, and what did they do? Well, like most of those special rangers you see on Power Rangers, they always get the special zords, which turn into their own megazord. And this is how you transform it to warrior mode. What we do is push the grill up on the car, and then pull out the front piece of the car, the, they are usually a little difficult to pull out sometimes. And then you just lift this open. You turn this around. And then you carefully turn it, turn the backside in this direction. Now, the thing is legs. You then pull out these sides right here. And down come the arms. Pretty simple. And then lastly, you flip this up. And you get this. You get, you get this head right here. First it starts out in this form, and then you lift it up, click, like that. You get that. It's pretty good. It actually like, isn't the worst looking uh, police-like Megazord I've ever seen, but it's actually pretty good for, you know, Power Rangers Turbo. It's pretty good. Although, really, in my opinion, it just doesn't look as good without the lights right here. Without them, they probably seem like nothing, but, but you know, hey, I at least got the figure. That's all that really counts to me. Anyway, in uh, terms of detail, he's actually not that bad looking, actually. Looks pretty good from the rear. <laughs> Sounds kind of bad what I just said, but... And um, this here sticker here, which are the little lights, if you can see that, those are like the... That's like the only stick around here that actually like hasn't really faded. Well, you know, peeled off, you know. Just hasn't peeled off yet. And then uh there's the art yeah, the articulation of this guy. The only uh real stuff that he can actually do is just rotate his arms with the whole 360. He also can have his hands out like that, like he's well. I'm not going to get into that, but he also can have his hands in at his hips like that. And of course, I have his helmet. Goes from here to here to here to here. It's a pretty simple concept right here. Um, now, uh, this is just a little tip for you guys. If you guys by any chance see this guy at, uh, you know, like a yard sale or, you know, on uh, eBay, be sure to buy this thing. This thing is pretty rare to find. If you really want it, you need to buy it. Well, that is if you really, really want it. But hey, you know, yeah. Um.
Um, this here is actually what I would call the. This actually is what I would call the future Siren Blaster for Power Rangers Turbo. Of course, as you may know, Siren Blaster was, of course, the Blue Rescue Zord. And, much like the Robo Racer, it, it obviously went from police car to police officer. It's a pretty nice idea. I honestly will actually give um, that their Rescue Zord some props for, for you know, trying to be, be, that, be like the Blue Centurion, but, of course, he's not ever going to be. Yeah, he most certainly is not. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Robo Racer, and I hope you guys enjoy all my other videos. I also would like to give a shout out to to my first uh, forty eight sub that yeah, forty eight subscribers. Thank you guys so much for for being very very good friends and also being very good subscribers. And don't worry, you guys. The more you subscribe, the more videos you'll be seeing from me and my awesome collection. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will see you around for my next review. Take care now.